No Travel Plan is about taking spontaneous trips, exploring everything from our own backyard to a country far away. For this adventure, we're staying in BC and spending a few days in Nelson. We're here to eat, hike, relax, and stay in one of the province's oldest hotels. I'm going on a ride, and I'm not looking back. Got my head on our first day in town, we're taking a side trip. Just outside of Nelson, Highway 6 winds through the picturesque Locan Valley and the tiny West Kootenay towns of Winlaw, Silverton, and New Denver. Turning on to Highway 31A, our plan is to check out Sandon. This historic ghost town is located a few kilometers off the highway down a narrow dirt road. A few seconds after getting this shot with our camera, tires spinning and huge snowflakes falling, we decide Sandon will have to wait for better weather. Back on 31A, we make our way slowly through what looks like a luge track. We are quite high up and just north of Kokanee Glacier Provincial Park. 30 minutes later, and out of the mountains and the storm, we're ready for a beer at the Caslow Hotel overlooking Kootenay Lake. Our final stop before returning to Nelson, Ainsworth Hot Springs. The hot springs feature a unique horseshoe cave. The mineral waters falling from the cave's roof provide a refreshing natural steam bath. Here, you can relax and enjoy views of the Purcell Mountains. The next day, we check out the local scenery Francis Rattenbury's historic architecture, coffee shops, and local art. It's an interesting time to be in Nelson. The Hume Hotel is celebrating a birthday, and the city is turning 115. Today also happens to be St. Patrick's Day. Glenn Knowles and his band are entertaining the crowd at Mike's Pub. Glenn tells us, like many locals, he's moved back to Nelson after spending several years away. This city seems to have that effect on people. When you me, I you it's our third and final day in Nelson, and the sun is shining. We shake off our Irish hangovers with a climb up Pulpit Rock, the city's most popular hike. After a kilometre and a half, we're rewarded with a view 300 metres above Nelson. If you're up for it, continue on for another kilometre to a Canadian flag that's seen better days, but certainly has the best view. Outdoor activities, culture, history, Nelson is a great place to spend a weekend year-round. One visit isn't enough. We'll be back soon.